In 2021, Cartoon Network launched a preschool block called Cartoonito, initially running for eight hours on the weekdays and two on the weekends. Since then, it's been progressively dropping more and more hours off its schedule, beginning in the same year as its launch. Today, it's only about an hour and a half long. A lot of the times when I mention anything about this block to anybody, I'm met with the same response. Since when does Cartoon Network have a preschool block? So, it's not much of a surprise that the block keeps shortening its hours and likely will be cancelled within the next year or so. But why is this block that only started two years ago already failing so hard? To answer that, we have to go back a bit. Cartoon Nito is actually not Cartoon Network's first attempt at a preschool block. In 1996, Cartoon Network launched an untitled Sunday morning preschool vlog, launching with shows such as Big Bad, Small World, and Cave Kids, eventually replacing them with shows like Baby Looney Tunes and Hamtaro, moving to weekdays in 2003 and eventually fizzling out. In 2005, they again launched a more established preschool vlog called Tickle You, which really mostly aired dubbed foreign imports, Peppa Pig being one of them. This vlog was hosted by a butterfly named Pipoka, voiced by Ariel Winter, and a rabbit named Henderson, voiced by Tom Kenny. This block lasted barely even a year. Something interesting to note about these two attempts at a preschool block is that both have a lot of programs that are considered partially lost media, and Tickle You itself is considered partially lost media. One thing we can see in common with Cartoon Network's past attempts in Cartoonito is that for the most part, the programming that they show is very forgettable. There's only about one or two shows on each of these blocks that anybody really knows about, and especially in Cartoonito's case, the shows that people do know about, or at least know the original property of, are very low quality. Another thing is, none of these blocks were really well advertised. You'd think after failing twice, Cartoon Network would learn from their mistakes. But Cartoonito is just a third repeat of those mistakes. A lot of people don't even know that Cartoonito is a thing because it isn't very advertised, and the people that do know it exists don't watch it or rather their kids don't watch it because the programming is so forgettable. And one thing individual to Cartoonito that we didn't see in the other blogs that doesn't really help its case is that it airs shows such as Coco Melon, which a lot of parents are starting to not let their kids watch because it's overstimulating nature. Cartoonito, even in its own branding, focuses on overstimulation, which with all the studies coming out against overstimulation in children's content pushes a lot of parents away. Cartoonito could have been a good chance for Cartoon Network to learn from their past mistakes and break into the preschool market, but with its unforgettable shows and lack of advertising, it's repeating the same issues they had back in 1996 and 2005, and it would not surprise me if even this year Cartoonito gets cancelled and eventually gets lost like the other two blocks did. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you want to see my future content, subscribe and like this video. Thank you for watching.